All right, so I'm in the shotgun seat. Mr. Atul is in the driver's seat. We are just about to take off. Uh, we are going to be relying on this fast charging network by this company called Static, a uh, North India based uh, fast charging company that has electrified many highways in North India. Uh, on the screen, you'll see the, all the places where they have set up fast charging stations. So it's quite amazing that such long distances have been electrified by Static. Putting them on the app and actually using them are two different things. So we are going to find out on this journey whether they work properly, whether we'll have payment system, payment problems. Let's find out. Right. So let's get started. And uh, I am supposed to be the data guy. Right. All the data analytics will happen by yours truly. And uh, we'll let you know how much WH per km, what is the price that we had to pay and uh, so on and so forth. So, ready to go. Okay, so here we go. And it's research. Everything zero. So, I'm looking at the static app on my phone, but I cannot uh, integrate that with the built-in screen over here. So, that's why we are going to use PlugShare, which is an open source app, and that we can integrate with this built-in screen to find all the information that we need. As you can see, I've already done it. As you can see, I have loaded Rani Bag Resort Bayawa, which is our next charging destination with a fast charger, onto uh, PlugShare. I just have to click on it. Directions, Google Maps, boom. I can see all the information I need. Four hours travel time, 212 kilometers to go. Now, this, this integration of PlugShare with Android is amazing. And I'll tell you why. Because it optimizes the experience of finding charging stations with using this built-in screen of the Tigor EV. So I don't have to, you know, uh, stick my phone somewhere here. I just can use this screen to find all the charging stations. So very well done, PlugShare. Thank you. All the other charge point operators, Xeon, Static, ChargeZone, please also learn from PlugShare and integrate your apps with Android, uh, Android Autoplay, Apple CarPlay, so that we can have this level of convenience. So we're at the famous Udaipur Lake. It's very beautiful as you can see. It's also very calm and quiet here. As we stand here, I reflect on the long journey that we're taking. It's a thousand kilometer long journey. We've covered quite a bit of ground already. But even a few years ago, it was not possible to do such a journey in, in an electric car. And now we're doing it. We're living the dream. So uh, I'm feeling very happy right now. And I'm excited to see what lies ahead. One of the things about these lakes are that it keeps the temperature down. So when I compare it with other places that we've been on our journey from Bombay to here, I think this is probably figuratively the coolest place that we've been and a lot of it is thanks to the water bodies over here. So you can see the lovely reeds uh, which are just kind of formed at the bottom of the lake. So Atul, you said it is literally, uh, figuratively the coolest place. I think you meant literally, meaning, meaning that the temperature is cooler here. But you are also said it is figuratively the coolest place we've been to yet. Because just look at this place. How can you not be happy when you stand here? Bye bye, Udaipur. Thank you. Okay, so we've left Udaipur city and we are once again back into the Aravli's uh, the tunnel uh, over here uh, on the Jaipur highway. And you can see our waters per kilometer has already gone up to 125 because of the climb. But hopefully there's always light at the end of the tunnel and in our case more, there's a decline at the end of the tunnel. So the downslope will help us get our WH per km back to more saner territories. So uh, I think this is, I remember cycling over here uh, about three years ago uh, from uh, Udaipur to Jaisalmer. And uh, I think this was about the only tunnel that we had. 127 watt hours per kilometer, not to worry too much. Nothing much we can do. Quest Sera, Quest Sera. There, that's the tunnel. Okay, huh? Uh, hey, I'm sure press the button. Fourth button, take photo. Bite button, bite button. I'm gonna take a photo of the readings, can you? What? Readings. Okay, so we are at the town of Nathwara, 12 in the afternoon, hot sun and 
as we were coming down this flyover over here uh, on a speed breaker the vehicle just went into neutral and refused to come out yeah. uh, on the dashboard we were seeing an error called hv alert yeah. and uh, it says critical error so we called up the our friends at tata motors uh, what they have advised is uh, they said do a hard reboot so what a hard reboot does is basically it disconnects your auxiliary battery so i have taken out the toolkit from the one at the dicky of the vehicle and this is a very nice uh, insulated spanner that they have given us i have taken out the this thing and i'm supposed to wait for about 5 10 minutes and then kind of put it back so let's see let's hope for the best okay. and in case it's not we shall get wait for our towing van Despite Atul's best efforts with the Tigor EV's aux battery, the car continued to show the HV critical error. This resulted in us spending two hours on the phone with the Tata Motors support team. Ultimately, Tata Motors arranged to tow the car back to Udaipur and we had to visit the dealer to see if they could fix the issue. It was not fun to see a beautiful electric car towed like this. But electronic components or connectors can fail in electric cars and at times like these, RSA is your friend. We had to go back to Udaipur and were mentally prepared to lose one full day. What a bummer. The next day. Right, so here we are at the Chambal Motors, Tata Motors dealership at Udaipur. Uh, we hauled our can back from Nathwara, which is about 50 kilometers away. I must appreciate the work done by Tata Motors. There was a lot of support that came. Um, they first tried to help us through video calls to see if that uh, problem could be rectified over there. We tried putting in place a lot of connectors, checking for the looseness, but uh, given my limited engineering knowledge, uh, I couldn't find any loose connectors. The local team again sat down with the car, but uh, I believe that uh, their engineering skills and mine were almost the same because they were also not able to. Uh, really look at what was the loose connection. Uh, there was a laptop which was plugged in and the diagnostics was done and, and we were told that properly there was a problem with some motor connector. Anyways, uh, it was evening time and uh, they kept on trying and finally at 1900 hours we kind of uh, gave up and uh, we went and checked into the hotel close by. Uh, uh, there was a person coming in from Jaipur the next morning. Uh, Tata's team had deputed this person to kind of help us solve this problem and uh, uh, we waited till around 10.30 in the morning before reaching the dealership and to our surprise we found there was no car. So that was good news which means either someone had stolen the car which was good because not booking in any case or it had been repaired which was the case. Uh, and uh, not only had it been repaired, but uh, also it had almost finished a 30 km test drive and had come back uh, without too many problems. So I talked to Amit, uh, who is the Jaipur uh, uh, person, uh, technician from Tata Motors. And uh, we found out that uh, he did take out a lot of connectors and put them back again. Because even if there is some data pins which are kind of uh, not collected securely, then there is a communication problem that happens and the battery kind of does not really work. Yeah. So uh, we are still not sure what the problem was, uh, looks like it was a battery connection problem probably under the floor of the vehicle because we did, we were going over rumbler strips when these car uh, can't stop. So there was some vibration issue and that had affected the connectors and you face a similar problem, HV critical error, then you need to focus on the battery connectors. And some of them are under the floor of the vehicle, so probably a local mechanic or dealership would kind of take you and kind of get that done. So, Ashish is a freaking genius. He suggested to do the estimate and then plug in and then start charging. What nonsense is going so, on here? So, we've finished a fast charge now. We are back to 93%, and now there's a software update happening for the BMS, after which we put it for slow charge so that. The BMS kind of settles down and uh, hopefully by lunch time we should be leaving Udaipur for Jaipur. So, a quick update. Uh, we lost about 30 hours because of the whole breakdown situation. And now finally, finally at about 3.30 we were set out for Bayawa. Uh, Bayawa is about 210 kilometers from Udaipur. And, uh, we are going to stay there overnight because we don't want to, we are a bit apprehensive now after this has happened. Not that we were cocky earlier, we were always careful, but 
now, now you know we want to uh, we've checked tested the car everything seems fine but we still want to err on the side of caution not drive at night we will reach biawa by about 7:30 8:00 yeah. then we we're going to check in the hotel stay there overnight and tomorrow uh, continue on the rest of our journey we were supposed to go to shimla and that would have taken us a day extra so looks like our sanyas in himalayas is postponed for some time so the plan is now to probably go up to chandigarh touch the himalayas so that that sanyasi feeling is there about the trip mm. and uh, then come down again and uh, stay one day in chandigarh and uh, then get back to delhi to say hi to the community ev community over there and uh, look forward to seeing you there we'll share more stories of the adventures in person because there's some things that uh, cannot be said in front of the camera or in print and we can share that over some drinks at delhi maybe <laughs> so hik hik hure aitu ji what are you doing meeting arbara uh, while atul feasted on some leaves then in the middle of nowhere we found a super creative restaurant called the pit stop near deogar this cafe had an automotive theme which was appropriate because we were on a road trip we spoke to the owner who said he is about to install a dc fast charger from tata power at this location so next time do charge here and enjoy this creative beautiful electric pit stop Yeah, hitting your eyes. Oh, that's low beam. That's not eye beam. It was eye beam. Eye beam was, was low beam. It was stinging my eyes. What do you use? Asylji, <laughs> <Asselji, laughs> low beam. I'm saying high beam. What do you use? Twenty thirty hours, and we just reached uh, Rani Bag Resort at Biawar, and uh, this is the static charger. It's made by Delta. Uh, it took us almost five to six tries for the charger to get started. Call up the guy. Charger is rising. And then it says error and it stops. Delta is maybe a useless company. Finished. Huh? Call him up. Call him up. Kya hai? Call him up. And uh, we must thank the local staff uh, who probably have hands which are better than ours because the moment they touch the charger, it cannot start it charging. It took about two three minutes and now uh, from seventy percent we are already at nineteen percent within a few minutes. So hopefully in our time we will have a hundred percent charge, which is important because our battery calibration, a new BMS has been loaded today afternoon, and the instructions we've been receiving is that uh, we need to do a hundred percent charge uh, at least for two three times so that the calibration of the battery happens as per the BMS. It should have been done till hundred percent, and uh, 
then we'll kind of disconnect the car so that if there's any other user who comes at night they can kind of go ahead and do the charging right so this is a 50 kilowatt charger i am assuming that uh, there are there are two cacs2 guns over here so each of them should be able to give an output of 25 kilowatts independently so that's kind of good because uh, it's not like a Chedimo CCS mix because the Chedimos are useless. Nobody uses them in <laughs> India in any case. 